For nearly a year, teenagers in Texas have been cut out of a federal program that provides access to birth control without parental consent. Courts have continued to rule that minors have the right to contraception confidentiality, uh, confidentially excuse me, under Title 10. However, the 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals has indicated they might uphold a court ruling which put the program into question. Here to break down some of this is Teresa Morris, a Texas A&M professor with the Women and Gender Studies Program. Professor Morris, thank you so much for being with well, us Well, thank today. you for having me. Okay, let's start with this. Uh, Title 10, what is it uh, for those who may not know? Right, so t Title 10 is the family planning program that was passed in 1970, which um, gives confidential um, and uh, really good care uh, for family planning services and preventive health services. Um, primarily targeted at low income and uninsured uh, people. So when we think about what, what it um, covers, it covers um, contraceptive counseling as well as provision of contraceptive care, STI, um, sexually transmitted infection, testing and treatment, but also can some cancer screenings mm -hmm. and also some well visits. Um, so if the fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals upholds the lower court ruling, uh, what would this mean for Title X? Right. So Title X guarantees confidentiality, both in the, pro the program requirements um, as well as the clinical guidelines that guide the, the clinicians who deliver this types of care. And that confidentiality extends to adolescents, and that's the federal, right, the federal policy. And so what we, what we know is when um, adolescents, research shows that when adolescents don't have confidentiality in terms of seeking con uh, contraceptive care, they just won't seek that, some, some will not seek that care. We also also know that um, lack of, con of confidentiality will not curtail uh, sexual behavior, um, sexual activity if the teens are having sexual activity. And so putting those together, what that means is that we would expect to have more unintended pregnancies, right? Not having that confidential um, care. We do also know that confidentiality um, for um, adolescents is important. It's supported by many medical and profes medical, uh, professional organizations. Um, and that's because we know that right, that some um, adolescents just won't seek that care if they're not given access to it. And this is particularly a problem for vulnerable, vulnerable or marginal um, adolescents. And that could include um, uh, teens who are homeless, teens who are in foster care, te teens who identify as LGBTQ. So we know that some, some teens just won't get that kind of care. Uh, so really, confidentiality is the, the center of this whole argument. Yes. Will, will they be allowed to do it without having to involve their parents? And they have to involve their parents in a lot of things, but at Title X clinics, they don't. Right, in Title X clinics, they don't. And I'd like to contextualize this. What we know from research is that, you know, the majority of teens do, in, do have conversations with their parents or guardians about reproductive and sexual health care. Um, but, the, but for the um, ones who don't, for those teens who don't, there may be a reason that they don't. So they may fear punishment or abuse for being sexually active. Um, so that's, you know, that's an issue. Um, and the, the federal, when, when Title X was passed, Adolescents were um, particularly included because they knew that there would be some adolescents who, who would not be able to get their parents to um, consent to this type of, um, um, to contraceptions. Um, and that was seen as important for, for adolescents to be able to access that care. That's very interesting. We'll have to see what the U.S. Fifth Circuit does. Uh, I'm sure this is not a, a ruling that's going to go away anytime soon. Mm -hmm. uh, Teresa Morris with the uh, Texas A&M. Uh, Women and Gender Studies program. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, today. thank you so much. All right, thanks. Uh, coming up. On